Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech World with Sahana. In today's video, I am diving into something that you see every day, but you may not fully understand. What is that little lock icon in your browser? I am talking about SSL or TLS. What they are, how they work and why are they absolutely critical for a secure communication over the internet? So without any further ado, let's get started. First. Let's discuss what is TLS or SSL. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer and TLS is Transport Layer Security. You can think of TLS as the newer, more secure version of SSL. Now, you have probably seen websites that starts with HTTPS instead of HTTP. That little s means the site is using SSL or TLS to keep your data private. So why is this so important? Well, anytime you type your password, credit card information, or any personal detail, it travels from your browser to the website server. If SSL or TLS isn't there, a hacker sitting on the same Wi-Fi as you, let's say at a coffee shop, could literally see what you are sending. SSL or TLS basically does two things. One, encrypts the data so no one can read it while it's in transit and number two confirms the identity of the server you are talking to so you're not sending data to a fake site pretending to be real so in simple words tls or ssl keeps your internet communication private and safe now let's discuss what is tls handshake all right Let's say your browser wants to visit a secure website like HTTPS your website.com. Before anything else happens, they do a little handshake, not literally, but it's like a secret agreement on how they will talk. Now let's see all these steps step by step. Step number one, your browser says, hi, this step is called client hello. It says, Hey server, I would like to talk securely. I support these versions of TLS and these encryption methods. Also, here's a random number so we can make our own key later. And this client random is used later to generate the final symmetric session key. Step number two, server replies. This step is called server hello. The server says, nice, I am in. Let's use TLS version 1.2 and this encryption method. And also here's my certificate. This proves I am who I say I am. And here's my random number two. The public key from the certificate is crucial for encrypting a secret later. Step number three. Your browser checks the server's ID. It looks at the certificate and asks, is this certificate real? Is it signed by someone I trust? Does the name match the website? Has it expired? If all is good, we move on. If any of these checks fails, the browser shows a certificate warning. Step number four, creating a secret key. Now your browser wants to create a shared secret, but it needs to send it securely. So it uses server's public key from the certificate to encrypt this secret key and sends it over. Only the server can decrypt this because it has the matching private key. This is where asymmetric encryption is used. Now let's talk about asymmetric encryption and symmetric encryption. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys, a public key to encrypt and a private key to decrypt. Symmetric encryption uses one shared key for both encryption and decryption. In TLS, Asymmetric is used to securely share the secret key and symmetric is used after to encrypt all data and it is faster. The browser then generates a PMK, pre-master key, and encrypts it using the server's public key. No one else can decrypt it without the server's private key. This is the core of asymmetric encryption. Step number five. Now, both sides generate the final key. Using the random numbers and the secret send, both sides calculates the exact same session key. This will be used to encrypt all future messages. Now, they both have the same symmetric key. 
Step number six. Browser says, I am ready. It sends a message encrypted using the session key to prove it works. It includes a hash of all the handshake messages to prevent tampering. If the server can decrypt and verify the hash, the browser is authorized. Step number seven. Server replies the same way. Server sends back an encrypted confirmation and that's it. From this point forward, all data is encrypted and fast. They now talk using symmetric encryption, which is much quicker and still very secure. So that is it for today. Your browser and server shook hands and also agreed upon a secret. And from there, it's all encrypted, fast and secure. And all these steps that we discussed just now happens in milliseconds. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any questions you have related to TLS or SSL.